Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Pig Stadium. This time for some NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series racing for the 17th race in the season. We have 11 races to go coming into today. After today, there will be only 10 races left in the regular season before we decide the playoff grid. And I am joined for the second time in the Cup Series season by Vince Fries. Thank you, Zach. It's going to be an interesting one here at the Cup Series. We saw speeds in practice top around 200, and we've also seen uh, some, some interesting surprises, too. And we got to watch out for some key players, too, who run that truck race that could maybe transfer that experience into this Cup race today. Yep, that truck race was something. Henry Sanford with the win, as the Cup Series has been here before. Both of those two races were 105 laps. This time around, it will only be 88 laps. But your past winners, they're both in the race today. They are Andrew Rich, who won in 2018 in a caution-free race. And last year's winner, Nate Rogers, in a single caution flag race. So we'll see if either of them can get a second win on their career here. But if not, it's sure to be a good show either way. Fastest in practice was Dylan Young. He had issues in qualifying. He starts 42nd. Fastest in happy hour was Jesse Turner. He'll start 17th. He had a strong run in the truck race as well. As on the front row are two drivers who have been hot as of late. Seth Cole and Jonathan Zorlin. They've been showing speed week in and week out. Of course, issues at tracks like Charlotte and Pocono. Ending their days, ending their chances at good runs, but they have shown the speed as this is Seth Cole's second pole, I want to say. I could be mistaken. And it is indeed his second pole on the year. He's the first driver to get two pole awards on the year, and he has the record for most poles. I think he had three or four in 2018. We'll go through the rest of the starting lineup here. William Fleckinger, James Shelley, row two. Wes McCoy and Jessica Shelton in row three. Charles Sanford, Carter Fries in row four with Alex Gray and Austin Colano in row five. So we'll try to squeeze in the point standings here really quickly. Samantha Austin still leads the points over Alexander Rowe. Nate Rogers third, Alex Gray fourth, Priya McShane fifth. Rest of your winners, Jonathan Zorlin, Andrew Rich, Tyler Fink, Ace Rogers, all in the top ten. Seth Cole twelfth. James Shelley, 13th. Matthew Logan, Rob Evans, 16th and 17th. Dylan Young, 28th. Jessica Shelton, 29th. And with two wins outside the top 30 is Jeff Toledo. Drivers, start your so on the season, we've got a total of 15 different winners. Actually, no correction. 14 different winners. One of them's not in the top 30, so in on points right now for the playoffs would be Alexander Rowe, Nate Rogers, and Austin Colano, leaving two-time defending champ Johnny Gardner the first man out since he has not won yet this season. We had no problems with the backs. So like a clean formation here as we uh, have Seth Gold bringing us into three and four. Yep, and Johnny Gardner also had issues in qualifying. He'll start 41st. We'll see if he can move his way through the field to the front. It's been done before. It can be done again. Green flags out, and we're underway at Pig Stadium. Let's just show you how fast these cars are going here today. It's 180 down to 170, so they will be lifting all day, Vince. Unlike the truck series where they were able to flat foot it for a little while. Yeah, but they're getting wound up at the edge, and they should go a little quicker from 191 there. Turns one and two seem to be a little more grippy than three and four. But it is also clear sunny skies Vince we had cloudy conditions in practice so likely we won't see 200 miles an hour here today no just 192 is the most I've seen so 
Two laps into the race, Seth Cole in the race lead. William Flickinger second, Jonathan Zorlin in third. Alex Gray up to fourth, and here comes Tringali looking for fifth. Already seeing a storm of veterans to the front. Ever since the package changed post Springfield, we've seen the veterans really coming into their own now this year. It's Jeff, yeah, Toledo. The, Jeff Toledo. Yeah, the vets seem like they, they have the uh, have the upper end, but we'll see what happens as we move. Yeah. Uh, uh. So Jeff Toledo broke a six race streak of veterans winning races with his win last week at Pocono. So we'll see if the veterans can come back and win again today. If we'll have another rookie win. Things are looking nice and clean. Single file here today. We'll see drivers make moves as they get their runs and show who's got the better car. Matthew Logan in sixth, highest rookie runner right now. Shelton seventh. Battle for eighth between Shelley and McCoy as Jesse Turner is in 10th place. Yeah, Turner, he was in the truck race. Now he's uh, brought his talents here in this uh, Roush Fenway 16. Let's see what he can do. And we jokingly mentioned how Turner was in his 41st. 41st start in the truck series. We thought he had a good chance to win it, and it didn't happen. Now, he's a rookie this season in the Cup Series as he passes McCoy for ninth. Now, Turner, Turner is known for his favorite number being 17. Onjak took that ride over him, but Turner's still on Roush. We're 16 races into the season on the 17th race. I mean, I don't think it'll happen since he's a rookie, but the number game is here this weekend strongly for Jesse Turner as McCoy's going to look back for ninth. Strength in numbers, as they like to say, is uh, McCoy looking, looking down the underneath for a ninth here on Turner. And James Shelley will move past... Matthew Logan and Jessica Shelton up to sixth place as Tringali has moved into fourth place past Alex Gray. Seth Cole continues to lead at the front of the field. Looks like well. we only have about a tenth of fall off, or two tenths of fall off at the most, so still early on the fall off game. And yeah, they brought a bit more of a durable tire this year around. Past seasons, we've seen a ton of fall off. We'll yeah, have to see how. Fall off. Yeah. We'll have to see how that changes today. Let's go to the back of the field. Rob Evans, Sakuli Nanako. Sakuli had a very strong race at Pocono. Looked like he had a chance to get his first career win, but it just did not come together. Jeff Toledo is back to running at the back of the field. If he wants to get out of the top, the bottom, bottom half of the points and into the top 30, he'll have to do better. As Andrew Rich is back here, he's not having a good time at all. But Jeff Toledo with two wins. All Jeff has to do is make it to the top 30 in points, and he'll be in the playoffs. But Andrew Rich struggling here today. Alexander Rowe, top three in points. Not having fun either. He's 29th. There's Johnny Gardner after starting 41st. He's up to 25th. Dylan Young is up to 28th after starting last. Dylan Young was uh, fastest in practice, and uh, Ace Rogers here looking at. Ace Rogers looking under points leader Samet Oskin for, I believe, 20th, as Nate Rogers has made his way up to 19th, the past winner at this racetrack. Nate won last season for what was his second win of the year, I believe. At the time, he has yet to win in 2020. Cole Deaver, another big name who has not won yet this season. He's made the final four in both of his two years in the Cup Series with a total of five career wins. Deaver won three in his rookie season and two last year. He's yet to grace victory lane this year. At this track last season, he DNF'd. So he runs 18th. So we look back towards the top 10. 
Zachary Fitzwater Sr. looking to get into the top ten. Passing Flickinger fell back. Yeah. William Flickinger falling out of the top ten here as Fitzwater goes into the top ten. As battle is on, the top five has changed. Wes McCoy is into fourth place. Shelley into third and Tringali in second. And they're tracking down Seth Cole. Draft coming to be a big play here, especially in the later run. You need that uh, that, that draft on the straightaway, especially with the corner speeds not being so high. It's just no fall off. Of but 16, Tringali and Shelley, yeah. 16 laps into the run. Fall off is at 8 tenths. We saw that in the truck race. It's a little different. Like we saw 15 laps, kind of stayed the same. Then it really started to plateau. So we'll see what happens in this cup race. In cup race, the fuel mileage likely about the same, 35 to 37 laps. We'll see two pit stops no matter what. But if this race goes green, I think short pitting will be the call once again. Vince, how about what do you think? Yeah, we saw that in the truck race with the two right at Rogers. And if someone can go, let's say, lap 34, I think that's what he pitted, you might play dividends, but at the same time, do you want those tires for the later run? Let's say you come in at 37, does that help you on the longer run with the fresher stuff? So let's see what the balance is. So Seth Cole continues to lead. Tringali and Shelley, second and third. They're pretty much even here in the top three. Wes McCoy in fourth. Gray fifth. Turner sixth. Fitzwater. Is on the move. He's up to seventh place. He could have the car to beat. Let's look at the lap times. Shelley's at the top of the board. Then Shelton Fitzwater is third on that list. Sorlin eighth, Shelton ninth, Logan tenth as Colano coming into the day is the last man in the playoffs on points right now. He sits 11th. As Nate Rogers is looking for 15th on Carter Friesen. So another driver on the move. So he'll move into 15th place there at the line. As Keith Rich was 15th a couple of laps ago. Now he's 26th. Andrew Rich still suffering. Gardner's falling backwards to 34th. Jeff Toledo has gone nowhere as Tyler Fink sits in last place. There's Cole. So the top three are pulled away. McCoy by himself in fourth as Fitzwater and Nate Rogers slowly work their way through the rest of the field. It's lap 22 of 88 where 25% of the way through the race we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for the first round of Green Flag Pit Stops. We are back here at Pig Stadium. You'll notice something has changed, and that something is James Shelley in second place. Passing Nico Tringali shortly after we went to break. But they're still chasing this man, Seth Cole. Started on the pole. He's led every lap, and we're under 10 laps from Pit Stops, Vince. I mean, nothing's really changed. I think the edge here is going to be when you pit. Pretty much. He's going to have those fresher tires and the short stop, and then we'll see on that second stop as we play it by ear. But uh, Fitzwater's moving. He's a... Uh, Fitzwater's up to fifth now. He got by Alex Gray in the fifth place. Shelton now in sixth. Gray will stabilize in seventh as Zorland's looking from eighth. As the rookies have fallen backwards. Jesse Turner in ninth and Matthew Logan in tenth. But Wes McCoy doing pretty good. He's in fourth. Kalano eleventh. We'll go through the field here really quickly before pit stop so we know where everyone is. Alexander Rowe has made some gains into the top 15. As Nate Rogers has started falling backwards. Almost three wide right there. This is outside the top 20. Johnny Gardner back into the top 30, I believe. No, he's just outside of it. Andrew Rich has had a bad day so far. There's Jeff Toledo, your winner from last week. He's had a bad day. 
And we saw how short pitting really worked out in the truck race for Zach Rogers. But that was with only 18 laps left. Right. And fall off and draft was more important. Fall off was less important. We're at two seconds of fall off here on lap 32. So the question will be, when do you pit? But, I mean, the officials, the, the race officials and the race organizers did a good job because in seasons past, this race we saw fall off upwards of over three seconds. So they've done a pretty good job minimalizing tire fall off. I mean, the tire seems a little bit more durable than years past. And it looks like another thing I've noticed, too, is these guys don't seem to want to battle hard. It's more spread out, single file. They will race it towards the end of the race as we uh, get closer. But see what happens as we are now in the next pit window right here, the first pit window we saw in the truck race, lap 34. Rogers pit. We'll see if someone pulls that strategy. And real quick, just to take a quick look ahead, we mentioned the truck series is off next week. That's because the last race before the trip over the Pacific Ocean, the Cup Series heads to Pensacola, not for the Pensacola Super Speedway. No, sir, that is in the playoffs. We head to Pensacola to run the road course, and that has that was an interesting race last season. Battle between Ryan Brommer and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. for that win. It came down to Brommer taking the W. So we'll have to see what kind of racing we get there this year. Here As we go. Seth Cole, he led the whole time, so I'm not really surprised. We'll also look at the pit road, see who would short pit it, but he might be the first one in. He's the free, yeah, first one in. Shelly and Tringali, I believe, stayed out. I don't see anybody else. Well, he was out there front, so he couldn't stay what? in the draft and save fuel, so I don't know. This was could be he, was he using fuel? Yeah, everyone else, everyone else did not pit. And I am seeing, oh, Matthew oh, Logan... Matthew Logan will be the next man down from ninth. I like this call. You're back there in ninth, bring it in, fresh tires. Maybe get about two to five seconds compared to the rest of the competition. As long as the pit stop goes well. And it looks like Matthew Logan's more or less pitting by himself. Yeah, indeed. They and this here, we, here go. we go. Shelly, Tringali, McCoy. All right, let's see. Does anyone, see, yeah. does anyone stay out? Austin Colano will. Uh, right, decent amount. Gardner's going to stay out. Now, here's the thing that worries me. Is people coming out of pit road. With people coming in. Not many stayed out. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's a bit of a stack up back here. Quentin Moore will stay out one more lap. Quentin Moore stretching it. But Seth Cole will keep the lead. I mean, he pit first. There's Matthew Logan. So we should have minimal issues with the pit strategies clashing this time around. It just depends when Quinton Moore comes to pit road, as it will be this time by. So he really stretched it to lap 39. So he'll have the freshest tires, but he'll also have lost the most time as Shelly and Tringali come out. They're still second and third. McCoy is still fourth, but Matthew Logan has moved up to fifth. It's Fitzwater. Fitzwater sixth, Shelton seventh, Gray eighth, Turner ninth, and Kev Shearer has moved into tenth place. Good stop by that 24 team. That's from pitting. That That's not – he he just came out. Yeah, good stop. I, I think he uh... – had a regular stop and just gained some time. Interesting. There's Austin Colano. He was running 11th before the cycle began, so it looks like... He'll uh, maybe stay 11th. Maybe Zorland might get him. Sorlin, I think Sorlin's going to get him here unless Colano pulls the block. No, he won't. But he's got good tires. I wonder then, what Quinton Moore did with that trail. Let's see where he exits out. Uh, it could have been a area. He oh, he's right. He, that's not bad. I don't recall where he was running. How about Johnny Gardner, though? Johnny Gardner into the top 20 now. 
He stayed out. Remember, he stayed on an extra lap, and it really worked out for him because pit road got very claustrophobic. Clustered, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, um... So Quinton comes out 17th with the freshest tires on the track, 17.3 seconds behind the leader. Now, did anyone have issues? Oh, we have a ton of people oh, lap wow. down. Oh, man. And it looks like Cole Deaver and Tyler Fink got towed for some reason. But Corey Williams, right. Ferranti, Evans, Rich, York, Toledo, Keith Rich, McShane, Ace Rogers, Markle, and Sakuli all fell a lap down. And I'm going to assume that that's either Seth Cole doing that. Oh, there they, they are. They're, they're, they're the guys on pit road. That's either Seth Cole doing that all on his own. Or it had something to do with the fact that those guys had to literally stop at the entrance of Pit Road. Seth Cole's got a nice lead here. He's looking looking dandy out front. Well, I'll tell you what, these, these guys are running a lot faster than he is right now, though. And now here's the thing. It's one thing to have a big lead and undercut, but if you get put to that top side, you're going to be losing that time. That's what James Selly wants. Shelly and the Tringali want that. Let's see what happens. As just, I mean, Seth Cole has such a huge lead right now. But now this is where things are going to get interesting, Vince, because the risk of people running into each other coming out of pit road as others come in has dramatically risen due to the fact that you've got people a lap down. They were already on... People were already on, like, four different strategies... You've got people laps down. You've got people four laps down. Lap down cars, if this thing goes green, will be huge in the fact that they'll have fresher tires. As you can Towards already see. Yeah. yeah, as you can already see, Seth Cole is getting swamped. But one big thing that happened now in, in 2018, we did not have any yellows. But last year we did, and it really influenced the race outcome. So we'll have to see. When that final round of stops comes from about lap 70 to 75, what happens? Yep, 70 to 78. Because Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a huge window, and I'm really curious to see if we see any right side only calls. Here you go, Zach. You called it. Call to the top line. Let's see if they're going to swamp him. Oh, what, oh. what is up with William Flickinger's car? Now, oh, oh, oh. He's coming to pit road. I think there's an issue with William. So the, uh, I, I didn't... I don't see any nowhere. skid marks anywhere, so I'm not sure. He just, all of a sudden, something broke. Close call for our leader, Seth Cole, in the, the pack right there. But Seth Cole's lead over his teammate is down to only three seconds. They were even, man. Him, Shelly, Trigali, they were even. Seth Cole had the pit, I think, two lap, two full laps early before his teammate. That's a pretty big deal when you're you're going 35 laps. And the thing with Seth Cole, so he was out in front. He was burning more fuel. He really had no draft. Does he stay in line here? We'll see. I don't know what the strategy is going to be on his uh, pace right here. Let's look at the lap times. Fastest lap goes to Fitzwater. So Fitzwater's definitely got the car to beat. But he's 6.5 seconds back. He's going to need a lot of help. Yeah, he's catching somebody, but oh, this Cole gets shuffled again. Here we go. And that somebody is Matthew Logan. That'll be a fight for fifth place. As Seth yeah, Cole, going by. Yeah. Seth Cole will be passed by people unlapping themselves. It's William Flickinger on pit row. Deaver five down and Fink six down. Let's go find one of them because I bet they are just they are just doing laps around these guys right now. There's William Flickinger back on track. It's Deaver working that right now. So there's Deaver. Where's the 34? 34 is, uh, there he is. The 34 is right on the bumper of Ferranti and Shelly. So Shelly's dealing with lap traffic too. But he's closing. It's, down, it's less than three seconds now. It's 2.7. See what it is at the line right here. 2.48. 2 it's, it's coming down. Meanwhile... Tringali's under fire from West McCoy for third. 
Fitzwater's about a second back of those guys. Fitzwater's up to fifth, and he's closing the lead, too. He's got it under six seconds. Matthew Logan, sixth. Shelton, seventh. Gray, eighth. Jesse Turner, ninth. And Kev Shearer, tenth. How about Kev Shearer running tenth? One top ten on the season. 42nd in the points. I mean, he's just not had a good year. He had such a great year with Roush last year when they drove BMWs for a season. He got that first career win at Pensacola. And he is just... Hendrick, I think they, they brought him on to Hendrick. They thought he was going to do really well, and it just has not panned out for third-year driver Kev Shearer. And it's a one-year deal, so who knows if Kev will stay with Hendrick or not. Yeah, silly season will be interesting as we get closer towards the playoffs and all that, but back yeah. at the front, we've still got Seth Cole and uh, there's Fitzwater. Oh, He's man, there. Fitzwater is coming, man. He's got it down to under five seconds. If he gets past these guys, watch out. Yeah, he is faster in every part of the track. Quarter exit, quarter speed, acceleration. And the big thing that Shelly and Seth Cole will not want to see, they will not want this man to catch them before pit stops. If Fitzwater can somehow pull that off, it'll be looking pretty good for Fitzwater to win this race. But he's stuck behind them. Shelly's stuck behind Ferranti. Cole is still getting lapped. Uh, well, getting the lappers. The lappers are almost done. 31 laps to go at Pig Stadium. Seth Cole has led pretty much most of these 57 laps. We're going to take one more commercial break, and we'll be back for the conclusion of the event. And we're back here at Pig Stadium. Seth Cole's lead under two seconds. James Shelley continues to close, but the big thing, the big storyline is not... This surface sunscreen car, it's this surface sunscreen car. As Fitzwater is up to third place, and he's got it under three seconds for him, and he has been a man on a mission today. He's catching Shelly at a rapid rate. Putting he's those almost, UV rays aside, he's almost three tenths faster than Shelly right now. Seth Cole's going to get held up on this 48. Ferranti and Corey Williams much faster than Seth Cole. Corey Williams is actually running the same lap times as Fitzwater. But the big thing will be, Vince, is since it's not going to be a full 35 to 39 lap run to the finish, do you take two tires and how much fuel do you put in this thing? because we're expecting the window to be huge. 70, lap 70 to lap 78. That's what we're expecting. So what... Yeah, Oprah's for you. Yep, there goes Ferranti. What point do we see people decide taking rights will get me to the win? Uh, you know what? Quinn and Moore. That might be the guy. You got to watch for Quinn and Moore. He's going to have the least amount of fuel fuel time on pit road. He might be the guy who goes for two. Oh, wait. Oh, Seth Cole's coming in here on lap 66. This is early and James oh. Shelley pit with him I don't like that call I think that might be too early Fitzwater stayed out Wes McCoy came in and I was just looking Quentin Moore was up to 13th Quentin Moore might be a, a dark horse but let's see now Fitzwater's got the lead the fastest man he's got to go hammer time here and put these uh these laps while these guys are up there. oh and oh, Fitz coming Fitzwater's in. coming in Fitzwater must be thinking hey they're going to probably take four. I'm going to come in now. And, man, that changes. That That is not what we were expecting at all. Well, now Quinn and Moore, he might still be the, the fastest, like, the longest guy. We'll see. Let's watch this stop here. He might stay out the longest. But we'll Tringali see. is the leader now. He'll come in. Where's Quinn? There's Quinn. Quinton's coming Quinton. in too. Wow, oh, they boy. they really narrowed up the Gardner's strategy. Stay, Gar Gardner's staying out. Johnny Gar oh Gardner Gardner must be thinking about what we mentioned, the whole collision concept. There it is. The caution's out. It. There, Johnny Gardner. 
Johnny Gardner is leading this race. I don't think he's going to be the only guy in the lead lap, but he's got... Oh, he's pitting now? Wait. Pace car's out. There it is. It's the same spot it is at every year. So pace, car, pace car's on track. Gardner... Flickinger. And Adam Flickinger, I think, are the only guys on the lead lap. There's, there's actually some people racing back that did not take this caution. Oh, this is hectic, man. This is hectic. Oh, boy. I think we had a big wreck, too, and there's Quinn and Moore. I don't know who the leader is. Oh, look, still guys racing back. Uh, this is a little bit of confusion here, but Fitzwater. Fitzwater. Fit, oh, man, this is. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, 73 is the leader right now. Where Where is the 73? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere right. to be... What yeah, the these heck? are people coming out of pit road. Did any of these guys take it? Oh, oh they oh, don't... Oh, oh, this oh. is... The, everyone is really confused right now. Oh, we got contact back there. Between the four. Where is Corey Williams? Logan York. I I uh, There's Gardner. Gardner. Tringali is on the lead lap. So Tringali, Quinton Moore. Someone else is on pit road. There's Corey There's Williams. Williams. Is he the leader? Williams, Sakuli. Markle's got door damage. No, I don't. I don't believe he is. I think he took it at the line on pit road. It has to be. Uh... Because if he Guys, is Gardner. the leader, I would be really confused how. Gardner has to be. Oh, well, here we go. Moment for, oh, Deaver's down. Yep, Gardner is the leader. Yeah, Williams, Williams, second. Williams is fifth. Okay, so there are only seven cars on the lead lap. Technically. Technically, yep. So, Gray... Shelton, Nate Rogers. That's the end of the top 10. So Fitzwater, James Shelley, 11th and 12th, McCoy, 13th. They really got hurt by this. Kev Shears down the 25th. Seth Cole is in 30th. And he and he short pitted too. We thought that was a good call, but it wasn't. And he short pitted too, but because of when the caution came out, so Seth Cole's good race is gone, and he's got the oldest tires on the track. So nightmare for Seth Cole. The, the drivers with a chance to win this is Johnny Gardner, Nico Tringali, Quinn Moore, Qu Quinn Moore, Adam Flickinger, Corey Williams, Sakuli, and. I mean, maybe Tyler Markle, but it looks like he's got door damage. And we're already at the one to go. Uh, we will have to save looking at the wreck for after the race. Yeah, there's really uh, no but, idea what's going to happen now. But it, from what I saw of the skid marks, it was the same thing as last season. Someone got spun going into turn three. Did anybody retire from the race? The answer is no. Looking at the fact the 88's got door damage, I'm going to assume he had a part in it. It'll Here's be, the question. It'll be the 16 question, to go. Yeah. The question is, if Garner gets held up, the guys who just start to restart the front, will they catch him? We'll see. That would be the big question. But otherwise, these seven right now, and now six. Here's the thing, shot. too. Tringali and Moore pit under green. Ooh. They've got a lap older tires than Gardner, Flickinger, Williams, and Sakuli. So I don't even know if these two, if the run, if the run is short enough for them to do anything, but Johnny Gardner, I mean, a cautionary pit stops, all but handed Andrew Rich a win at Charlotte, and now it looks like it could do the same for Johnny Gardner at Pig Stadium. Wait, here comes uh, these guys are staying in line, yeah. I think Rich might have been involved because either he's got damage or his tires are bad. Oh, and all oh, those guys what? just came right back what? down. Oh, and they're wrecking oh, up ahead. Big one. We got a big one. Here. Oh, oh, my oh. goodness. Gardner, Gardner made it through it. That's going to put a ton of people back on the lead lap. Fitzwater's back in this race now. 
And Andrew Rich will stay on the lead lap by a nose. Well, we saw it right in front of us. That Oh, Kev Shears will... These guys are racing back. There's the pace car. Jesus. He's just chilling. Chilling like a villain. It's Rich and... More guys coming All down. All right, so no one's going to pit for tires here because they can make it. But Mills, Ace Rogers with damage, Cole Deaver, Kukulon, Kalano, Rowe. Bro. But there it is. Friesen's up the seventh. Ferranti, eighth. Sanford, ninth. And Shelton is tenth. Kev Shears down pit road. Brommer's destroyed. Disaster. Now Adam Flickinger, Williams, Sekouli, and Markle all came down pit road. I don't understand that one. Whatever reason, I don't know if they served the penalty or what, but it looks like they're on the lead lap. I... Answer is yes. Oh, there's Rich. Oh. And I guess because of pit road, he Rich has to let these guys by. But so they are on the lead lap. Oh, they're sheer. Now Gardner Legley did not want to see that, but one thing Gardner has to consider is he's got the best tires on the track still. And there and, goes a bunch oh. of other cars with damage. On Jack, Deaver, Kukulon, Toledo, and Rowe. So Jeff Toledo's bid to get out of the bottom of the standings continues to be hurt. What a race, Zach. This has been crazy after I don't even, collisions. I don't know what happened there going into turn three, but it was definitely not good. So let's take a look at... Both of the accidents here. We'll be right back. All right. First, we're looking at what happened with the pit road shenanigans back on lap 37. Deaver gets in the Brommer. Can't quite get in his stall. Doesn't get in it correctly. That causes him to stop. And then Tyler Fink turns into oh. Rob Evans. And he doesn't get in his stall correctly. And he has the toe. So that's what happened to those two there. Now let's get you to what caused the first caution flag. All right, we're looking at what brought out the first caution of the race. As we didn't have time to look at it before the restart. And Marco's coming to pit road. And he, I guess he thought Seth Cole wasn't going to accelerate in time or something because he just cut straight down on him as if he's not oh, even right there. And right there, there's a car Shelly, coming. There, there's a car coming, and the officials are like, put it out. So caution there for Tyler Markle and Seth Cole. Luckily, no one's going to hit them here. But jacking up the field during green flag pit stops. Now let's take a look at what brought out that big wreck in turn three. All right, here we are looking at what brought out the second caution flag of the race. And it looks like it looks like both of these guys were coming to pit road and Deaver just ha acts like Williams not there and he gets himself turned. And then what to the pack? All right. Right into Matthew Logan, Alexander Rowe, nowhere to go. Kalano, Kukulon had no reaction time. Oh. And oh. that is almost a flip. Ace Rogers involved. Brommer. Kev Shearer. There's Logan York. Mills. Dylan Young on Jackson here. Rich. Those leaders that made it by barely. Good thing there weren't a lot of lead lap cars at the back of the field. But man, oh man, what a wreck. And then these guys were trying to serve a penalty. They couldn't serve it, so they... I don't know if they'll have to serve it again or not. Because you cannot serve a penalty under caution. So we'll have to see on the restart if they have to come back down and serve it. Um, but let's take a few onboards. On board the 38 of Matthew Logan. Almost over. One thing that's over is his race. On board with race leader Johnny Gardner. 
You can see the smoke up there. Oh, wow. He barely, barely scrapes on Jack there, but he makes it through. And then he lets Andrew Rich get his lap back. But with that, we'll take you guys to the race restart. We're back after looking at all that mayhem. Out of the race, Logan York, Matthew Logan, Ryan Brommer, Ace Rogers, Jose Mills, Austin Colano, Alexander Rowe, and Sebastian Kugelon. Several drivers did not get their lap back. They weren't quick enough. As Jeff Toledo and Onjak back on track with out of front hood. Your leader is still Johnny Gardner with the freshest tires. Tringali second, Quinton Moore third, Friesen fourth. Ferranti fifth, then Sanford, Shelton, Gray, Fitzwater, and Nate Rogers. Will we have another caution? I really have no idea. But here we go. 11 laps of racing left. Vince. What? Well, I don't even know what. Green flags out. Tringali gets a good jump. But so is Dylan Young. Oh, Gardner got a bad restart. This could really hurt him. Who's going to go on the inside? Oh, Tringali's looking. Swear to... Oh, Quinton Moore is going to make a look on Tringali. Tringali goes high. Quinton Moore to the bottom. Quinton, Quinton Moore. Moore. Quinton Moore last one in his rookie season at Martinsville. But here he comes now on his teammate. He's not going down, but here comes Fitzwater. I see him making moves back there. He's got, he went three wide. He's taking it to the house here. And Quinton Moore will take the lead. Tringali's right behind him in second. Johnny Gardner to third. Tires, we talked about tires being a deal. All these guys are on different different lap bowl tires. Gardner's coming back, though. He ain't giving up yet. Nine to go at the line. You mentioned here Fitzwater. Fitzwater's into the top five already. But are his tires too old to do anything? But it's Quinton Moore in the lead out of nowhere. Tringali second. Gardner third. I Actually, I don't know. I think Gardner might have taken right sides only. He's showing no corner grip. He's two tenths yeah, slower. Gardner's. He is two tenths slower than Tringali. Fitzwater's up the fourth, Friesen in fifth. Oh man, I don't know. This is interesting. Quinton Moore, the dark horse. Seven laps to go. Actually, hang on. Gardner might be good. He ran faster that lap. Was he saving? You know, it's a good move to save. Fitzwater stuck in fourth, Friesen fifth, Gray sixth, McCoy, Oskin. Nanako, Shelly, that's your top 10. Gardner's, he's making, he's looking for a move soon. But will we have enough time? Oh, we got our lappers. Just looking to see where these people are. They might catch. Did, did, did these guys pit again? I think they pit again. I can't really tell if they just pit again or if they got damage. Marco has damage. Focusing on the lead, though. More in the lead. Five laps to go this time by. Can Tringali make a move from second? Fitzwater in fourth. He's starting to close it in. He's looking, he's looking to use Dylan Young as a draft. That might, that might be a good move. Dylan Young in 26th. Yeah, those guys came back down pit road again, Vince. I don't know what was wrong with their cars. Fueling issues or something. They came back down on the green flag stop again. Maybe... They couldn't, they couldn't clear their penalty the first time because the caution came out. Nevertheless, Quinn Moore with four to go. And Tringali, he's just trying to get there. Can he get there on Quinton Moore? It'll be three laps to go at the start-finish line. Uh, more with Nico. Red Bull has yet to win a race this season. Meanwhile, Evans Gardner Motorsports has seen just one win this season from Rob Evans at Talladega. Two laps to go. Could Quinton Moore get the second win of the season? 
Or will it be Here Johnny Gardner? Gardner looming in third, then another teammate in fourth of Fitzwater. I think Tringali uh, might be under threat here. Gardner's starting to peak. Could Tyler become a factor? Here we go to the white. White flag in the air for Quinton Moore. In the one and two, here comes Quinton Moore. Tringali's trying. Gardner fell off the pace. It's down to Tringali and Moore. Moore will go to three and one. Did Tringali get enough of a run? He just doesn't have the grip. Through Out three four. and four. Second career win for Quinton Moore in his first of 2020. And who could have predicted it? He stayed out the longest on that first stint and then all the cautions started coming out. And we thought it was all said and done. But Quinton Moore with the W, Tringali second, Gardner third, Fitzwater fourth. Samet Oskin will come home with a fifth place finish. Carter Friesen sixth, Casey Nanako in seventh, William Flickinger eighth, Alex Ferranti ninth, and Nate Rogers rounds out the top ten. Nope. As we have issues on pit road. Looking at the rest of your finishing results. Shelly comes home 14th. Seth Cole 18th. Zorlin 17th. Some guys that were near the front earlier today. Good race Bunch gone. Tires. Yeah, good race gone bad for Matthew Logan was in the top 10. Kalano was around there too. But man, chaotic race. Quinton Moore with his first win of the year. He'll become he becomes the 15th different winner on the season. And with 10 races to go, it's looking like we're going to have more than 16 winners in the regular season. So man, this is that this playoff hunt is going to get crazy. So that will yeah, with only one spot really left for those winners, I mean, who knows what could happen. Uh, and you also have to be top 30 in the point standings, which, looking at the points before this race, Quinton Moore sat 21st, so he's looking pretty good right now. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that'll do it for me at Pig Stadium. I will see you guys next week for some road course action at the Pensacola Infield Course. Should be a lot of fun. I will see you guys all there. Thanks again to Vince Freeze for doing a second complete weekend with me here on this channel. And I hopefully will see Vince in future Truck Series races and maybe a cup race here or there. But thank you again, Vince. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. You guys, Zach, no problem. Thanks to everyone out there listening and watching.